Hello, um, hello guys, Virtual Lantern here, and I got you here with a Tekken 7 video, and yes, this is my very first Tekken 7 video, and this video, I'm gonna go over some pretty cool that I discovered, uh, while messing around with Heiachi on the Xbox, because I was able to play on my PS4, so, it's why, I, I could have done this video like a week or two ago, I think, I've been messing around with this a lot on the Xbox, but, just to make sure everything works correctly with like every character and thing. Well, not every character, but like certain hitbox characters. And it's with Heiachi's uh, Down Back 2. You can actually end combos with this, and then it opens up uh, quite a bit of opportunities that Heiachi can do from uh, depending on the, the way the opponent wakes up. And so there's some pretty cool things you can do. Like, you can actually, like, uh, whiff his Wild Wizen 2 and be safe from 10 point jabs if they side roll. And I, I will show that. And stuff like that. I'll show uh, there's a bunch of things and it might be a long video, a bunch of mishaps and stuff like that because I'm new to this game and then stuff like that. So, uh, the combo I'm gonna be doing is just a basic combo. See, as you see that, that confirmed, you can do it off his back one two or you can do it off back forward two three. But I'm just gonna do it off back, uh, back one two so I can just do it. And the first thing we're going to do is, um, we're going to show what happens if the opponent just stands guards, and I'm just going to have the opponent stand guard for this. So, whenever you do down back two, you can actually do your y, uh, y uh, Yzen or Y stand attacks, whatever it's called. I've heard ca called it both different ways, it's quite weird, I don't know. And you can actually do his uh, Yzen attacks from this because you're already in crowd, so you can do this. And the safest option Heiachi has is his uh, Wizen 2 because it's minus 6 on block and it's a mid. And then you got Y Wizen 3, 1 plus 2, which both options are unsafe. And plus, you can't hit confirm this because if you delay just one second, it, that will come out. And they're both unsafe, especially the end duel. So I don't know if I would recommend using this option, but it's sale. Just in case the opponent like decides to do something, you can get a full combo off it. Hell sweet, uh, hell sweet combo, obviously. And then you know his one, and then if you hit him, you get the uh, down forward two follow up. But there was a certain way that you cannot actually get the down forward two uh, follow up if they do a wake up backward, which I'll show that later. And then you got sidestep one. You can actually sidestep, sidestep uh, two one, but uh, two, you can just do two, and it's minus nine, which is safe. And then two. Uh, Oh wait, you can actually hit confirm this one, you can actually delay it, but does it actually combo? No, it does not. Okay. And then obviously you got down back 2 again, but this is, uh, it's minus 18 on block, super unsafe. Launch punish boy, pretty sure by everybody, so... I'm, not, I'm new to this game, so I don't know, like, what precisely every character's playing down and stuff like that. So, um, I think that's pretty much it, so let's get into it. So, well, I'm going to show what happens when you hit. So, I have it on Crouch Clock because forward forward 2 is obviously a mid, so. Then you get the uh, uh, down forward 2 follow up, which does 100 and, what was it, 112 damage together if you do this combo, but you can probably do more damage. Uh, cause I don't, I, I can't do the optimals, the optimals are crazy. I, I'll probably one day be able to. Yeah, that's 102 damage to get, that's pretty good, pretty good damage. And then now, uh... This right here puts you at, uh, 78, and then if it actually hits, you're plus 11, so you can, like, uh, I guess, like... Oh yeah, you can probably do that. I think this will probably reach, I don't know, his uh, down forward one, which is really good. But if you hit it a couple of times, obviously, like on block, and the pushback on it, so. And then, uh, obviously, you can do this into the stomp, which I'm just going to do the stomp because I'm, I'm not going to try and hell sweep that. I can hell sweep it, but it's like pretty hard to do it consistently. I missed the stomp. I probably should just do down. Uh, this would do like uh, like near 100 damage or maybe over 100 damage together. So you, you can get like a, almost 200 damage by doing this on the stun combo I'm doing. Or you can also actually do uh, YY using uh, 3 4. And if they block it, obviously it's plus 3 on block. And if they don't, you get a full combo. 
some light that white tail. So yeah, that's that white tail. And just to show you real quick, there's actually uh, to, obviously the Apollo can just you know just sit there and lay there to get, uh, get a whip uh, to not do these options. So I'm about to have to try to about to like throw this acting up. Yeah, see they can completely avoid these, and then plus I'm pretty sure they can do like the wake up mid and low attacks for now, and then like side wolf for now. I don't know precisely. I'm pretty sure they can do that from that position. So now we're gonna do wake up backwards. And uh, so whenever they wake up backwards, whenever you do the Y Y Z one, um, uh, the uh, down forward two fall would not conform. It's to the two fall way. I'll show you right here. Yeah, see the two fall way. So what we want to do is just down back two again. And you can also tell if the two fall. You can tell when the two fall away. So you can easily react to doing this if they do a wake up back. Whoa. Oh wow, that actually whipped too, but that actually hits and it does like 38 damage. So yeah, that works right there. And then obviously, uh, his, uh... See, that will whiff right there, and then that's actually punishable. And his, uh, why is in 3, the first pull will whiff, but you might catch the opponent off guard by hitting him with this. And then you got the side step here, which the first hit will actually whip. So maybe you can catch the opponent off guard with the second one, we're trying to punish. But they know there's a second part where well, if it hits no matter what, it's a combo. It doesn't have to be a counter hit, so they might just block it. So his uh, safest option is to uh, is actually just doing the uh, why why isn't one, even though it's unsafe on block, but. You might have enough pushback from them doing that, so let's put the opponent on standing. Oh, wow, that actually hit uh, for some reason, but, but I mean, I'm pretty sure they can stand up and go on and wake up, uh, wake up backwards, but. So yeah, wake up backwards is actually quite not a very good idea for uh, safe for Hayache. Like none of his options are really safe, but he can, you know, you might be able to catch him pulling off guard with second hits, stuff like that. Plus, you can play, uh, you can actually up forward three, uh, for, up forward three, obviously, and uh, it's plus three on block. So that's something you can do. So now we're gonna get play, get to play and buy a pin. The, maybe the most unique part about this is uh, whenever the opponent sidewalls. Now, obviously, uh, when opponent sidewalls, all your options are whiff. Ex uh, I didn't want it deep enough. See, that would whiff right there, but on um, bail characters, that would actually hit on bail characters. It, it won't hit every time, because uh, I've, I've done it so many times on a bell character, it doesn't always hit. But it, it sometimes hit, and then like you can, like after you hit him with it, you can obviously, like, if they don't do anything else, you can do the forward forward 2 follow up. If I can get the forward forward 2 to, what is my forward forward, yeah, forward forward 2 it. Plus, if they side well, forward forward 2 actually hits them out of the side well, so I'll show that real quick. Where's the forward forward 2? Uh. Yeah, see right there, it hits him out of the walls. Hits him out of the walls, so I bet that took one. But yeah, hits him out of the walls. Uh, L4 3 will whiff, so I would not recommend doing L4 3. Uh, Wising 3 will whiff. Um, let's see here, what else is on the notes? Uh, Wising 2. Uh, the, the, yeah, this is a cool thing about Wizen 2 heal. Now, if you do Wizen 1 and then the opponent, like, doesn't wake up and, like, you can, you, uh, actually can't really do anything. You actually get punished, but, like, uh, with a 10 point jab. But if you do, uh, why Wizen 2, you'll actually save from 10 point jabs. And Wizen 3, you'll save from 10 point jabs. But the thing is, the opponent can actually just do a wake up low attack or mid attack. 
but you actually uh, you actually can block those. Or if you make a hard week, you can low parry the low attack, or you can uh, up forward three the, the uh, low attack. And if they do a mid, you can actually like you can actually do this to crush it. This is too slow to crush it, but you can actually do uh, wait. Uh, okay, they're both too slow. These both are slow, but the, uh, you can actually crush it with this. This right here, this will actually crush it. At least you have plus five, so you down forward one. Which I'm gonna have to record the AI to show you because you can't have the AI side wall and then do an attack, which I kind of wish you can. Can you? Maybe you can uh, when we see this. Nope, he didn't. Nope, because it's not a ground technique, it's a stand up thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm new to the game, so I'm experimenting the uh, practice settings uh, quite a bit. I've messed around with them a lot, so. Put switch positions on. So okay, here we go. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna pause the video because the video's going on for a while, so I can like do this a lot faster. So I got the AI to do uh, it recorded to do a simple combo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna side wall to the left, whichever direction. I'm gonna side wall into the uh, to the background and then do a 10 frame jab and try to punish him. Now uh, watch what happens. Yeah, see, as you see, though, it did not punish. I think I did. I didn't do the ten point jab. So let's do that again. As you see, though, he like, he's like pretty much all recovered. So you can't really punish with a ten point jab. Now I'm gonna do a low attack. See that I didn't punish him at all. So uh, you can, you'll actually save uh, whenever he uh, does a side wound. Uh, what's the, uh, is it four to do the mid attack? Yeah, see, safe right there. Now, um, I'm gonna try and get the AI, uh, no, I'm gonna record. And let's see if I can actually, uh... Okay. Now, let's see if we can get him to crush the, uh, bit attack. As you see, as you see there, he crushed the bit attack. Which was, it was pretty cool. But, I mean, he will get hit by the low, obviously. So, I would do a low attack this time. Gets hit by the low. For, uh, pretty sure if you do that, you get a combo off that, I think. So uh, now I'm going to record him to do an up forward three if I do a low attack. I think I did that. I, did that. I think I did that while I seemed too slow. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, let's see what happens here. Guys, you see there, I went right over the low attack. Pretty cool, and you get a full combo. We'll do it again one more time. And honestly, you can do a full combo into, uh, you get quite a bit of damage off that too. So, not set, put it back on guard. So yeah, this is um, something that uh, Heihachi could do if the opponent side walls. So anytime the opponent side walls, doing a wild wise in two is actually safe all the time. But the thing is, why wising 2 is not safe if the opponent wakes up backwards, so you gotta, it's, uh, there's a lot of like, uh, there's so many options to wake up, so you gotta think about that. So, now we're gonna do, uh, the wiggle wake up mid and low attack, which, uh, why wising 2, uh, I gotta switch positions now. Wait, off, okay, cause I, I'm not very good at the left side, I, I, I need to eventually practice left side only. Okay, so now we're gonna do wake up mid uh, mid mid attack and and low attack 
Uh, well, actually, uh, just a bit of tag, so... No, why why is he two heal? Um... Well, actually, cow hit, and he can do a full combo. But I'm gonna show you, like, that this actually works against it, so let's do that real quick. It works against that, and then you get, uh, obviously get that follow-up. Full combo, what is that? 124 damage if the opponent decides to do a wake-up mid-attack, and you do Wild Wizen 2, because it's a counter hit. Pretty cool, and then uh, why? Wow, I think uh, I don't think you can do this. I think this trades. Uh, I didn't want it deep enough. Nope, that actually works. So then you can do you can do the uh, down full stomp or do the hell street combo, which I'm not gonna do the hell street combo. I'm not that good at it yet, but I eventually will be good at it. I'm gonna practice that a lot. Let's see heal. Oh, one thing I did not mention. If the opponent obviously does a low attack on the uh, side wall low attack, you can low parry. Unless I did mention that. You can low parry it if you make the hard weed, but that's a hard weed. Also, just do an air forward three is a hard weed too, because if they do a mid attack, it hits you out of the air. Okay, so... What else is there? Uh, you can probably, uh, probably easily sidestep to one that. I'm not wanting deep enough now. Uh, I missed the follow up four or three, but yeah, you get what I mean. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, wake up mid attack, and now uh, the wake up low attack. You uh, um, I'm pretty sure this will actually with. Oh no, never mind. It does not whip. So uh, either way, mid or low attack, why at the start of the wake up, you get the Wild Wizen 2 counter hit and stuff like that. Plus, if they do the low attack, you can parry it. But like, hey, Hachi Mishima doesn't really have that great low parry damage unless you do the Wild Wizen 4 combos. Which I'm not, I don't really, I'm not very good at it, but I know what they are. They're very tough to do. I, I'm pretty sure you got low parry, electric, forward three, wild wise and four, or it's forward three, electric, wild wise and four. It's one of those two. I don't want but it's been a while since I've seen the video, uh, the wild wise and four video that someone made. I saw it was pretty cool. So you got low parry, you can also do this again, obviously, into it. Uh, this also works against it. And then you can up forward, up forward, forward three if it's a hard weed though, but the mid attack will hit you out of the air just like the side wall. So it's a hard weed. So, uh, so pretty cool. Now I'm onto the last page. Okay. Recovery kick. Okay, so the recovery kick. Is that what's next? Yep. Oh, that's what's next. Oh, I'm trying to. Now, see, whenever they do a recovery kick, down forward two, a whiff on that. So you got you got to do down back two again to hit him. Or well, maybe uh, this might hit. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of range compared to the down back two. So yeah, you can do that, and then down back two again, or forward forward two. You can actually wait forward forward two. Oh, that's if you uh, do this. You can. Uh, oh yeah, forward forward two. Obviously, that confirms. I should have said that. Whenever that you uh, miss, uh... wait, does that do more damage? No, it does one less damage. But Wizen two, Wizen two, a whiff on this one. Whiffs. It's SS two one punish. What is that? SS two one. I mean, obviously that. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Let's try this one. Okay, that- oh, that doesn't work. Let me try that again. I probably mistimed it. Um. Oh, okay, okay. So, why isn't 3, uh, 1 plus 2 just not work on that one? Obviously. Okay, so, that, yeah, there's not wing much on recovery kick. And now the last one is spleen attack. Okay, so on spleen attack. Oh, sidestep 2-1. Oh, that's what that SS2. SS sidestep. Ah, I should have probably just rolled sidestep on the notes. So, yeah, so you can sidestep 2-1, obviously, the recovery kick. Now, uh, did I sit on spleen attack? Now, spleen attack heal, uh... Uh, this right heal, uh, it may get pu so pushed far away, you can't, you cannot follow up. Yeah, see, as they, they get pushed back, so you can't follow up with it, but, like, you can, like, run up and, like, start, you, like, you know, do your wave dash, and you have to guess if you can do a wide wide and four. Or the hell sweep, obviously. One in plus hole. And then why why uh why isn't two counts to the counter hit but since in the air they do a like a air juggle pop up so you can follow up with four two three I'll show that oh I I must have mistimed it say so, yeah you can do something like that pretty cool pretty uh, cool combo. And then, uh, why isn't 2 will actually trade with spin, uh, with, uh, it'll trade every time. Trades. Now, side set, it says, uh, side step 2, 1 does not work. Oh, yep, uh, you get hit out of it, because it kind of, it looks like the spleen tech kind of tracks. So, um, that is, uh, that's all my notes I got here. So, yeah, that is, uh, pretty much it. So, yeah, so, I know it was kind of a long video, but, like, I'm new to tech in, so I gotta, like, you know, do a bunch of stuff. Plus, I gotta record the AI, because there's certain things that you cannot do that you can actually do in-game with the, you know, the wake-ups, like, wake-up side wound, and then attacking, and then wake-up side wound, do a low attack. It's, you can't wait really to do that in practice, but unless you can, I just don't know, because I'm new. So, yeah, that is what you can actually do whenever you end a combo with uh, down back two. There's a bunch of different options. Like my favorite thing is like on side walls, you can actually just whiff his uh, wise and two and actually like uh, be safe. Or like if you make a hard weed, you can like full combo. If they uh, if you know what wake up they're gonna do, but it's a hard weed though. Pretty cool. Oh, and just a tip, uh, this does not work on, uh, breakable four stages, cause some reason, uh, down back two right here actually crushes to the four. So if you do this exact combo on Forgotten Realm, it will go right through the floor, and then you can continue to combo as they fall down through the floor. Kinda weird, but... So, yeah, that'll be the end of my very first Tekken 7 video, so, and I'll probably make more videos if I figure more stuff out. And maybe, uh, whenever I play online, I'll show like clips of me using this tech, using this like tech against opponents and see how effective it is and stuff like that so i hope you all liked to enjoy the video and see you next time